Life is so short for everyone, never mind what might have been, it's what you've seen, what you've done. Life is so short for everyone, get out there and have some fun. Life is so short for everyone, never mind what might have been, it's what you've seen, what you've done. Life is so short for everyone, get out there and have some fun. Take a journey, turn a corner, run a mile and run the gauntlet You'll have to get a suit or you'll never be the same Get a job and feel secure, get a family, get a future Does it pay well, does it suit you, does it help to ease the pain Make a packet, make a racket, if you really cannot hack it You'll have to try and smack it or it'll drive you quite insane Life is so short for everyone, never mind what might So then guys, this here is, as you know, 1973 Yamaha FS1E, the fizzy. This is my first bike, 50cc, single cylinder, air cooled. There's several walk-arounds, reviews, whatever you want to call them, of this bike on YouTube, but none of them are mine, so time to make, for me to make one. I've been riding it for, Jesus, since March, so I think I should just about be able to give you a good verdict on it. So, this bike, well, actually, let's start her up. She starts beautiful. Now that I've said that, she won't. Great. <laughs> Welcome to 1970s bikes. So this old girl, she's done a few miles. She's done 22,229 miles at this point. I've put, what? Well, I started on 20267 with her. So, what, 2,000 miles, give or take. And, okay, she let me down a couple of times, but it's never been anything major. I'll tell you what, look how beautiful it is, and like the noise is just amazing. You cannot beat an old two-stroke. Modern bikes, modern 50s, they're a lot faster than that. Um, some of them, my friend had a generic trigger SM50. That ran rings around this thing, it really did. But, um, you know, what do you want? This is what you've got to think about is do you want a bike that's iconic everybody loves you can't go anywhere without people falling in love with it or do you want speed i know what i want i want that baby right there now she's not slow she'll pull 40 miles an hour with me on it i'm cracking on 15 stone so this motor pulls me along 40 i've had it up to 60 that's downhill wind behind me <laughs> you know the usual lay right down to it tuck right in um but it's just so much fun you have i just have such a laugh wherever i go and it is it's got its own character it's definitely got a character and um i just love it i'm just completely and utterly in love with it this bike will never be going anywhere i love it uh, if we're going to compare it to a modern twist and go, uh, my friend's Kimco is probably the best sort of comparison there uh, for twist and goes. This eats it. This really eats it. Um, I suppose it's got something to do with the fact that it's got gears and that it hasn't got a 28 mile an hour top speed, which is legal, made legal by pedals right here. 
and that's how they got past the laws back in the 70s. Makes it road legal for me as a 16 year old. The brakes, drum brake front and rear. Um, they do stop you. It's a bit of an effort though, <laughs> sometimes. I mean, I got off of this onto my dad's GT185 when I had a little bit of a ride on that up and down an alleyway. And the first thing I did was I hit, I don't know, 30 miles an hour, grabbed the front brake, nearly went over the top. <laughs> well, I didn't, but it felt like it. Discs are so much sharper than drums, but that's to be expected, isn't it, I suppose? You're never going to beat the stopping power of a disc, hence why they swapped to them. The electrics are shocking. And that's why I can't be out too long, because indicators, horn, they they, they, they got a mind of their own. <laughs> They just do their own thing when they want to do it. They work when they work, want to work, they work. When they don't, they don't. It's as simple as that. Um, but you've got to love the chrome. Look at it. <laughs> oh. So originally they never came with side stands. That's something I put on there. Um, this is a side stand off a of Yamaha Air Rocks, I believe. And my uncle made up this bracket. I'm sure I've shown that in another video. Um, which we've just sprayed black, which has done the trick. So this bike has four gears. Them gears are all straight down, so you've got neutral at the top, and you've got first, second, third, fourth, and it pulls all right in them. So I did change the gearing on this bike a little bit. Um, I went down one tooth on the front sprocket, just to give me that little bit more pull. I mean, she's doing 40, um, 45 comfortably on a flat, but as soon as you've got a wind or anything like that, that was dropping to sort of 35 and uphill, it was doing 30. And I, I wanted to see if I could give it that little bit more pull, especially um, living here. Uh, I'm going up the hill all the time. So that's something I really wanted um, to be able to do at 40, keep up with the traffic. And now she does that treat, as, you can see, as you've probably told from my videos. If you've not seen any of my other videos, check them out <laughs> that'd be awesome right so let's get on the move shall we other stats you know brake horsepower oh, i don't know i don't know any of that <laughs> i don't don't know why you need to know any of that to be honest it's not a necessity is it i just like enjoying the bike for what she is She's definitely no slug. <laughs> and like I say, she's probably on par with sort of um, the Aprilia. Aprilia's there, um, my, my friend's got an RS50 restricted. That sort of does the same sort of speed as this. But this has got a little bit more acceleration. It's not a great deal, but it's a little bit more acceleration. And it copes a lot better with hills as well. Okay, so I'm in fourth gear at the moment, 30 miles an hour, a bit more throttle, and it starts pulling again. So for a 50cc, it's got all the pull you need for a 16 year old, I'll tell you what. And it's so light, it's so light. That's the one thing you realise about this bike, is it feels just like my push bike. And that's essentially what it is, isn't it? With the pedals and all the rest of it, it's essentially a push bike with a 50cc motor strap to it. And I love it. I love it. <laughs> I quite like this road. Should we turn around and do it again? But like I say, it's just so easy to move around for a starter bike. Well, I couldn't have wished for a start, better starting bike. Other positives about this bike. Position, seating position is amazing. It is so comfortable. You're upright on it. And your arms nice and wide. There's not really much to dislike about the seating position. And although it's so light, you'd expect it to feel a bit detached from the road, but 
and I know I've only ridden this properly this is the only bike I've ever ridden properly uh, but I, I don't feel I don't feel unsafe on this bike I don't feel like it's I feel pretty sturdy on this bike pretty solid and confident and I I pretty much have done since I got on it poor old, old motor took a lot takes a lot of abuse from me and obviously earlier in its life being owned by more than likely 16 year olds all its life this one in particular has had 17 um, owners I think I'm the 18th owner of this bike and um, it's got to have been ragged in its life 20,000 miles there's no way someone it's not been ridden wide open everywhere especially for 16 year olds riding it I'm the first to admit that maybe I don't go as easy on it as I probably should. I mean, you don't really think about that much when you're 16. You just hang wide open on it and see how fast you can go. And it actually does all right, as I said. And these country roads are so nice. The ride is nice. The suspension's not... It's a bit blah, 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 bouncing around a bit like woo, like it's a bit um, springy on the back, but it overall is quite a nice experience to ride this bike. Of course, being a two-stroke, and that's a pain in the arse about this bike, is it's a premix. Now, if you're not quite sure what a premix is, it means you've got to mix the fuel with the oil before it goes in the tank or in the tank and because uh, it's got no fuel tank no fuel pump and th this particular model doesn't actually have any um, ability to house an oil pump there's no space for a tank or anything which is slightly annoying and it's an absolute pain in the ass when I want to go out anywhere and get any filming done or anything then I realize I've run out of fuel you know you want to go out for a ride not mess around going and buying going to buy fuel in a jerry can and mixing the correct amount of oil in because if you get it wrong it smokes and if you get it wrong the other way if you put too little in you're going to seize the engine so it's a really fine balance and if you get that wrong even slightly it's just a nightmare you're like bellowing smoke out the back killing everyone behind you I was gonna go then. <laughs> Let's go! There you go, there's 30. <laughs> Only took me half a mile. <laughs> Something I do love about this bike though is he gets everyone's attention wherever it goes. I'm not usually like that, but I love, I'm, I'm so proud of what I've achieved on with this bike, like restoring it. And um, it, it's been so nice for me to have, have something in common with my dad, because before bikes, I didn't have anything like that. And obviously my dad had one of these, as did everyone when he was 16. So, for now us to have something in common and something to be able to do together and with my uncle it's just been such a nice experience and I've, I've, that's the, probably the best thing about this bike for me was w what it's given me like my freedom I've got more freedom I can go where I want when I want you know to a greater or lesser extent it's given me a, more of a social life I've got friends from this. And I've been going out with friends all the time. That's because of this bike. And it's really, really done me proud. And I, I don't know, it's just something I'm growing attached to. You know, it, it's just, I just love it, basically, bottom line. And it's nice, you know, to own a bit of history, isn't it? This is. Great British history. It's a Japanese bike, vintage, oh Jesus, vintage Japanese bike, but you know, everyone had them here. 
they were British bikes. They're an icon for the British teenager. And, and that's something I'm, it, it's awesome to be a part of. For me now to be experiencing what my dad's generation and everyone else experienced is it, so cool. I mean, just look at a turning circle. That's like a mountain bike, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, oh, 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 look at it, it's a fizzy. <laughs> that's all I've really got to say on the matter. All right, so that's it then, I guess, guys. Take care, ride safe, please subscribe, like on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys, ride safe.